And the other thing that, that I was, my eyes were open to, which I'd never really come across before, was, was Russian literature, and particularly Russian poetry. Um, I, I'm ashamed to say that when I went there, I had not even heard of, of Pushkin, their, their national poet, possibly because poetry is quite hard to translate and, and we would miss a lot of it. Um, and I'll just give you a brief snatch of one of his famous um, poems. Uluka moria dub zeloni, zlataya cep na dubi tom, i dnjom i noću kotučoni pad sepi krugom, idiot na prava pesnija zavodit na lijeva skalsku gavarit. Which roughly translates as, by the seashore is a green oak, and on the oak is a golden chain, on the end of which is a wise cat. He goes to the right, he sings a song, to the left, he tells a story. And the poem goes on for late about a mermaid who lives in the tree above and houses with chicken legs. Um, there are even buildings where I lived which were on stilts called the chicken leg buildings, named after this, this famous poem. Um, I just love the imagery of that. And then maybe you have the slightly more lowbrow, um, griaz, griaz, chudnaya, griaz, lucha sredsva, kožnaya, maz, tak vazmi svoju damu i pavedi jo vjamu i tam we akunim sev chudnu griaz. Which loosely translates as mud, mud, glorious mud, nothing quite like it for cooling the blood. So follow me, follow down to the hollow. <laughs> and there we will wallow in glorious mud. Uh, Flanders and the Swan there. Swan was actually half Russian, and so he, if you find the CD of that, um, he actually sings that, that chorus in, in Russian. Um, and and humour is one of those things that you just, it's the last thing you get in, in, a, in a culture, and I still don't understand it, and they have a wonderful sense of slapstick humour and craziness. That was part four of this Foresight Talk. Click here to subscribe, click here for the previous episode, click here for a playlist of all the episodes in the series, and click here for my series on YouTube tips for business.